hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is cheryl and on this channel we talk about all things beauty fashion and lifestyle so if you're interested in any of those things please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video today's video we're going to do a what's in my bag and then i'm gonna talk a little bit about this handbag that i have now this handbag i picked up from macy's a while ago like maybe four or five years ago and i cannot remember the name of this handbag to save my life i've tried googling the details of this bag just to try to find the name of it and i was not able to do so so very sorry i don't know if this bag has been discontinued or what but i just could not find it but anyway the bag that we're going to talk about today is my michael kors bag and i have it in this gray shiny leather material it's not quite patent leather but it does have a little sheen to it and i don't know if you can tell on camera but the leather does have some creasing and veining in it but that is just the style and design of this bag and it does come with a silver hardware and it is a top handle bag and it also comes with a shoulder strap the shoulder strap that it came with it is adjustable and it has this michael kors detail right here on the strap and these are the clasp can make this long enough to wear it as a crossbody and then you can shorten it to wear it on the shoulder but you know me i'm a top handle girl so i only carry it by the top handles so let's go ahead and get into the details of this bag so once again you have this top handle and the handle is a pretty decent size and it covers the whole width of the bag and the handle has a nice height to it too so you are able to slide it onto the crook of your arm without any issues and especially if you're wearing a coat or a sweater that is perfect for that and then you also have these leather tabs on the zipper which makes it easier to use your zipper pull and then it also come with these d-rings right here on the side of the handle on each side and that's where you would attach the strap if you want to wear it crossbody or on the shoulder and then on each side you have these little pockets right here I'm not sure if you can fit a phone in there but you are able to put like your cars or some chapstick or anything like that that you just want to grab really quickly you can put it on each side of the bag and then you have these two zipper compartments in the front so the top zipper goes the entire width of the bag and it's also pretty deep so you can definitely fit a ton of stuff in that pocket and then your bottom pocket is not quite as long as the top pocket and not quite as deep but it's still a usable space and then you have your main compartment here and once you open it the opening is pretty small but you do have adequate space inside of the handbag so you are able to carry your essentials and then on the inside of the bag you do have these two slip pockets right here that you can slide something small inside of and then the back of the bag there is a zipper compartment that you can also store some stuff inside of it so you do have plenty of room to store your items and you have different compartments if you want to put certain things in certain compartments and then you also have four little feet on the bottom of the bag and this is perfect for when you need to sit the bag down on any surface and you want to protect the bottom of the bag and i love when my bags come with these little feet so i don't have to worry about it too much so those are the details of the bag let's go ahead and see what i have inside so I did carry this handbag with me this morning. I had a doctor's appointment and I was kind of rushing so I didn't store things in pouches like I usually do. I just took a few things that I thought I would need and just threw them into the handbag. So let's see what I have. The first thing that I have is my Victorine compact wallet. And then I have my card case. I have some hand sanitizer because we're still carrying our hand sanitizer. I have my Chanel hand cream. I have a random lip gloss. This is Milani Fruit Fetish in the Strawberry Lemonade. And then I have a Fenty Beauty Compact Mirror. And then the last thing that I have in the main compartment is some floss. So that is all that I have inside of the main compartment and here is another look of what it looks like on the inside. Really, really nice bag. 
And for the front of the bag, I do keep things in these two zipper pockets. So in the top pocket, I have a lip gloss by NARS. I can't really see it to tell you the... Then I also have another lip gloss by Jay's Beauty Bar. I have my AirPods. I have a lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury. And then the last thing I have is this little care card from Michael Kors. I don't know why that's still in there. But those are the items that I have in this top pocket. And for the bottom pocket, I don't have anything in here. But you can definitely use that space to put some items in it. So those are the items that I have in my Michael Kors bag. I also forgot to point out that it has the Michael Kors symbol right here on the front of the bag too. So those are all of the items that I carried in my Michael Kors handbag today. Like I said, all of those miscellaneous things like the lip gloss and lotion, I would have normally put it inside of a toiletry bag. But I was rushing this morning and I didn't have time to do that. Yeah, so those are all of the items that I carried in my handbag this morning for my appointment and that brings us to the end of this video if you have any questions please leave those down in the comment section below before you leave don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.